Hi Aries, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-March general reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in an Aries, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Aries, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Aries, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Aries, let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-March general reading. We are still in Pisces season, and then we'll be in your season. So happy early birthday, um, Aries, to all of you. Let me know what you're doing, what you're planning for your birthday. But yeah, you're up, you're up next. Your season is next. We're on the last week or so of Pisces, so just the tail ending of winter. Um, this is the wrap up of any residual stuff from 2022 as your season, Aries, first house, spring, March 20th, that's all you. It's all you. It's new beginning. It's the true new year energetically for 2023. I can't wait. I'm excited. All right, Spirit saying two more. We're doing a nine card spread, past, present, and future today. Very sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you. And don't forget, this is general. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Aries, eight of wands. Yes, your energy, fire. Some of you definitely could be dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of wands is beautiful. This is your theme. This is communication. There's a lot of brainstorming, brilliant ideas kind of popping out of nowhere. Write them down. This is also beautiful communication with anyone from a distance, online, social media communication. Those of you that could be like single or very social, this is like a lot of, you know, online uh, dating, that kind of thing. Um, but connecting with lots of people, really, I'm hearing popular, you're really popular. Um, Two of Pentacles, yeah, temperance, you have a lot going on. It's like a lot of people are talking to you, wanting to do stuff, make plans. Um, but with the two of pentacles that can feel overwhelming because you still have your day-to-day -day responsibilities, right? So lots of action coming in for you. Um, I love that. Recent past for Aries, please. It's been going on. Yes. Yes. Aries, recent past. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords with the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Six of Wands came out first. Again, fire energy, you, very victorious. Um, you might have gotten like some good news, something worked out. This is a victory. Something that was basically kind of challenging, challenging you for a while, you overcame it. This is a round of applause um, with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be like, yes, I got that new job. Yes, I got that loan. Yes, I got that investment. Ace of Pentacles could also be, um, it's something real that came in in the 3D. So how, you know, keys to a house, a loan, something like that, money. Um, in regards to people, Ace of Pentacles is an investor, someone who wants to invest in your life. Page of Swords, some of y'all could have been starting to talk to somebody in a more serious fashion, serious manner. Yeah, with the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck, this was good news, especially in this deck. He's got the smile on his, his face. He's like, what did I just hear? Yeah, so there's definitely been some good news around a very solid new beginning. Like some of y'all, this is like, I got into the college I wanted. I got into the, you know, this is like an approval. Uh, this is the start of a new beginning that you are super glad that you stuck something through. Like you're proud of yourself. I love this. Let's keep going. What's currently happening with Aries, please. There they are. We've got the hermit. So some of y'all have been in hermit mode. We're definitely dealing with a Virgo. Um, we're in Pisces season, but we just had the Virgo full moon and we're still kind of coming out of it. So something could have popped, um, came to the surface around the Virgo full moon. Uh, we had the four of cups. 
water energy, the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, strong masculine, and the king of cups coming into your future energy with the hangman. This is a night and day change. This is a change of perspective for you or somebody else that where something you couldn't see is now illuminated, right? Something that you were maybe hung up on, wasn't clear, nighttime energy, boom. With the um, with the night, the light and the dark right there, spirit saying something you weren't, you're like hung up on it. You're like, I'm not really sure. I need more time. Boom. It came to light or it's coming to light. Because yeah, Hermit for like right now, coming into the now, you can't see something. There's a little bit of, there was a little bit of this message in the Pisces reading. So if you have Pisces placements or are dealing with the Pisces, you might want to check that out. But with the Hermit and the Four of Cups, this is like, you don't see something. And then these two kings popped out, King of Pentacles. So I do feel like Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Aries, a lot of you, um, whatever offer came in, whatever new start, it's like, all right, I'm gonna take that house. All right, I'm gonna take that job. All right, I am gonna work with that investor. I am gonna work with that partner. Like this is you totally, um, Spirit saying bossing up, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, and there were, there were two kings in the Pisces reading as well. That's too many. Let's get two more. Let's wrap up this, this spread and then uh, go clarify. King of Cups coming in, future energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a very solid king. Um, this is someone, male or female, that's reliable emotionally, very emotionally mature. Everyone goes to the King of Cups when they're upset. You know, it's like a shoulder to cry on. So that could be you for somebody or, or that's what you are needing. But again, I see a big smile here. So I feel like you're happy to play this role. Aries, Ace of Cups coming in, baby. Two Aces. Y'all have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups with the Four of Cups on this row. Yeah, there's definitely new beginnings coming that you had no idea about. You have no idea, Two of Pentacles. It might throw you off because it's gonna be a lot of new beginnings. So it's gonna be very surprise energy. What's this last card? Oh, you and your confidence, Queen of Wands, just killing it here at the end. Ten of Wands, finally putting down a burden. You're at the end of a very, very long and difficult road, difficult path of tons of challenges, of tons of roadblocks in this situation. And you finally are like, I put those wands down, but I can't. The wands are down. You are right behind this emperor, which is your energy with the dang star card, Aquarius, Aries energy. You, when you put the, when you put the work down, when you put the challenges down, like this has been you, Aries. You've been on a path and you've had so much responsibility, um, duty, like all this stuff on your shoulders that you, like, you can't even see where you're going. And you're like, oh yeah, now that I dropped all of that stuff, I just needed the one wand. Like you're bas basically a baller. You're doing really, really well. Like I definitely feel with the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, a lot of you are coming into a very beautiful, like, part of your relationship with someone like you and someone you're in a relationship you're like oh my god we're hitting a beautiful high note we're having a new beginning um for a lot of you um you could be meeting someone new um and figuring that out this feels really good there's a confidence booster here i'm seeing a cardinal for some of you that could be significant there's like a new investor a new business situation and a new cup around a new friend someone reliable, some of you in family, you and family, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, some of you with your family or close friends that have been, um, I'm hearing out of town, distant, MIA, like you've just been kind of missing each other and just busy, busy, busy. I've been busy, I couldn't see you, da 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 da. There, there's not a Three of Cups here, but there's a little bit of a reunion energy coming in, like, um, like you're happy to see people, you're happy to Ace of Cups reconnect, um, but yeah, aces represent new beginnings. So for a lot of you, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, new home, new investment, new job, and ace of cups, new friends, new sh new social situations, new love for a group of you, right? And, and again, there's something that you couldn't see coming, and why was that? You've been so 
caught up and I gotta do this and I gotta do this and I gotta be da 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 da. Your Aries, your go, 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 go. I'll do this, no problem. I'm super busy, but like I'll grab that task as well. I got you. It's like your plate has already been super full. And as you were doing all of these things, there's been stuff going on in the background. Four of Cups, there's a cup behind you. It's almost like someone's been watching you, not in a weird way, but in a good way. King of Pentacles that wants to invest. Like someone watching you, hey, I really like the way Aries does their job. I would really like to have them on my team. I'd like to invest. Hey, I really like the way that Aries does. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. It's like someone's been watching you from sideline, big time. Let's dig in. I love, I love the, the emperor behind this. Do you see that? Ace of Wands just flew out. There's a lot of excitement coming in for you. I just love behind this 10 of Wands that it was you, the emperor, um, with the star card. Something's definitely meant to be here. Star card, major wish fulfillment. So let's look at the past and see uh, this victory, Six of Wands, like why you feel so good. Page of Swords. Something was said. Again, I'm seeing the smiles on people's faces. You're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, two of wands, five of cups, six of pentacles. Look at y'all leaving the past behind, making plans for new arrangements, new things. Some of you, again, with this two of wands, I've already pre-shuffled and got this for you. Two of wands, you've got the world in your hands um, with this two of wands and it's a step up. So you, you have everything you need to take this next step. You're ready. For some of you, I, I keep hearing graduation. So you could be gradu graduating from something, getting through something and on to that next chapter. But don't forget to celebrate yourself. Recent past, what was this victory? Yeah, something that you've been waiting on. Recent past, seven of pentacles. You're like, man, where is it? When is it my turn? King of wands. You've been patiently waiting to get through something. Six of wands, what's this for Aries, please? Recent past. Hermit again, double Virgo, nine of wands, three of cups. Yeah, this was like the last, like, whoo, I love this though. When we talked about you're at the end, you're at the end of the race, you're at the end of a struggle, you're at the end of a difficult path, road, however you want to say it, boom. You're like, when is it going to end? I, you're like, I am up to here, Jacqueline, with my situation. You're like, it's never going to happen. I keep getting delays. Something kept getting pushed off. And then boom. Three of Cups, there it was, a celebration, a reunion for some of you, um, hermit, lovers, something that popped out of nowhere. Again, with the hermit, I didn't think you, I don't think you saw it coming. What was it? World card, and they're showing me the Eight of Cups. A lot of you, this is beautiful. You took matters into your own hands. You decided to start having fun in a situation where you weren't having fun. Yeah, three of swords. You started to make light of your situation. A lot of you changed your focus on like, man, I've been waiting for this and that thing. I've invested so much time in this person or this plan or this situation. And ugh, nine of wands is aggravation. Like it's not working and I feel stuck. It's wounded warrior. And you're like, you know what? While I'm still waiting for whatever I'm waiting for, why don't I make the best of it? Why don't I have fun with it? Why don't I just laugh about it, whatever? And as you've changed that energy, that's what brought in this Ace of Pentacles, right? So while it's like, I don't know, I see you just bare bone basics. It's like, you know, you go into, they're showing me the DMV for some reason. Cause I always feel like there's like the longest line. Like you think, I don't know, it's just gonna be like forever, right? If like you go into the DMV, I haven't been in forever. But it's like, say you're like, oh my God, I have to be here for two hours and wait, like, what am I gonna do? You could be pissed off. You could be like, ugh, whatever, this sucks. Or you could be like, hey, it's kind of a nice day. I'm just gonna go take a walk around the block. I'm gonna call an old friend. You know, you can make the best of, what, what I'm trying to say is, what, what are you proud of yourself about? You've made the best of 
a lingering uh, situation, right? Like you made fun out of something that was kind of boring. Oh, you did your Aries thing. You made something fun. You're fun. You started to make light of a situation and it changed your energy. Love that message for you. What was this Ace of Pentacles in the recent past? Spirit brought you a gift, a blessing. This is a really nice gift. Death card, Eight of Swords. Oh, they let you get out of your head or you finally decided to get out of your head. Scorpio energy, King of Wands. You took a stand. A lot of you got into your masculine energy. Oh, you got a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, a personal win. Six of Cups, something that you wanted from the past. Ten of Cups, this is an emotional fulfillment. What came in? Tower, see something unexpected. Aries, in the past, something came in. Tower, you were like, I didn't see that. I didn't know that was going to happen. I can't. Ace of Pentacles. It's either an earth sign for a lot of you or someone very balanced, grounded, and earthy. Or again, this is like money. I got the loan. I got the approval. I got the whatever. I got the letter. I got the email. And it's like death card, eight of swords, nine of cups. It's like a huge sense of relief of like, oh, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, thank God, you know? Yeah, Aries. What's this page of swords recent past? This is a small, this is like small, small talk, getting to know each other. Um, hey, how you doing? Like, how's your day? It's just real like short and sweet conversation. What was this for Aries? Page of swords, younger air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. Excellent. Four of Pentacles. I heard, I'm feeling like when you were grounded, when you were at your house, when you were like around, this is like in your vicinity, in your neighborhood, in your area, in your full card. There was a new beginning, page of wands, two pages here, new beginning. You and, you and a new friend, you and a new, I heard amigo, which is friend in Espanol. Um, you're like, oh, hey, there's that person. Ace of Wands, someone definitely, this feels like, hey, let's get each other's number. Hey, I like you. Someone that feels very complimentary, you're like, hey, I like your shoes. Do you like your shoes? Let's go shopping together. Like, you know, friend, romance, it could be business. This is general. You'll know what it is, but it put a smile on your face. That's definitely what it did. Because that page of swords, she's smiling real big. Let's move into your current energy, hermit energy. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. This is like, okay, all this stuff just started. And this is you being very emotionally responsible, being in Virgo energy, hermit energy. I'm going to pull back and I'm going to, I'm going to feel out. Does this new opportunity, how does it sit with me? How does it feel inside, like in my soul, in my emotions, in my, in myself? It's like, cause, it, cause the hermit is about the internal journey. I can't, they go look at his belt. A lot of you, this is about keys. He's got a bunch of keys there. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark, but like he's wearing a little belt right here with keys and a, oh, it's like a, a sand timer thing. What do you call those? Y'all will know. So something with, this was about timing as well. Right place, right time. I don't know if I've ever seen that before y'all. That's cool. Hermit. Page of Swords again. <laughs> Two of Cups came out first. It's probably a person. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're you're reevaluating Page of Swords. You're like, hey, me and so and so just got each other's number. Friend, new romantic interest, um, new business partner, whatever. This Two of Cups is a soulmate. It's someone who you're Two of Cups. You're happy to see. They're happy to see you. Y'all face each other. Hey, how you doing? It's a friendly face. Okay. So for a lot of you, you're. Page of Swords, like I said, like y'all got each other's number, y'all started talking. Um, Hermit, again, double Virgo for a lot of you, Ten of Wands. King of Wands, this is like a masculine counterpart to a lot of you. Both of you are doing the exact same thing. 
double hermit, whether you're dealing with a Virgo or not, strong Virgo and water for a lot of you. But this is like, hey, I just met that new person. I'm going through a lot, but I need to figure out if I wanna go shopping with them. Hey, I met someone new romantically. I like that vibe, but I'm gonna do the, the I'm gonna pull back a little bit and I'm gonna feel it out. Does this feel good to me? Both parties, when I get a double card like that, both of y'all are doing that. Very healthy, very mature, very good. What's this Four of Cups? Current energy in the heart of your reading. Wow, he's here again. Double King of Cups as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very significant to Pisces season. You're not bored anymore. Four of Cups could be like, meh, my social scene is kind of boring. I'm kind of bored with this, that, the day-to-day. -day. Because you didn't see something behind you. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, King of Cups came out on that. Your wandering eye is done. Your wandering days are done. Should I go apply to that new place? Sh should I still go do that thing? Should I still go talk to that person? Should, 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 should I? Nope. Ten of Swords says, nope. King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? King of Swords, lots of kings, all the kings. Look at that, King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. This is a lot of masculine energy that you didn't see behind you. This is like a, a friend, a solid new, those of you single, this feels very, um, someone wanted to get to know you romantically. Can I get one more? Why the King of Cups behind you? What is that about for Aries? Again, that's just like someone that's just like wants to be there for you. They go put it back, but I wanted to see who this King of Cups is for you. Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. This is someone, this is a marriage card. This is a high level commitment. This is a very like serious, dedicated friend, romantic partner, person in your life, family member, someone who's like, will always be there for you, right? You're like, oh yeah, that person is always there for me. <sighs> this reading feels really good. I love this. Let's look at your King of Pentacles. Um, again, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, strong uh, earth energy, masculine, male or female. This is like just, they're really masculine. About all the gold, there's like bags of gold down here. So again, King of Pentacles is our most mature king in the in the tarot. Very abundant, very a slow roller, slow to move because they they're investors. Why is this King of Pentacles here for Aries, please? Someone's ready for the next phase. Nice, magician. Okay, eight of cups, wheel of fortune, karma here, passing a karmic test, three of pentacles. This is a start to build your legacy with somebody. Again, like, hey, you got that loan, that, you know, hey, I got that job, I did get it. And this is like, okay, like this is like a sit down conversation. Like, hey, um, now it's like your boss telling you like, hey, now that you're not doing this, this and that and you work here full time, what are we gonna do? What kind of magic do we want to, what kind of magic do we want to make here? Beautiful. This could be, this is some kind of business endeavor. Um, this is you definitely not feeling, because eight of cups here, wheel of fortune. This is a situation where you will not feel wishy-washy anymore. There's like, there's been a lot of self-doubt emotionally in this situation. And that's what's like, you don't have to worry anymore. Like some of you, you've been almost like, I'm not sure if it's okay to stay here and been in, in a little bit of a runner energy Aries and whatever you're, you've been running from, there's no running anymore. King of Pentacles is solid, healthy, grounded, abundant, there for you, secure three of Pentacles, wants to see your ideas, build your ideas. Um, someone who wants to see you succeed in business and love and family, whatever in you, most importantly. This is someone who sees you for who you are. Magician, Ace of Pentacles. And this is like a good brainstorming, coming together collaboration. This is like, well, where are we going from here? King of Cups coming in for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. He's already been coming out over here as something you couldn't see. There's that smile. 
Why is this King of Cups coming in for my Aries, please? <clears throat> I heard the dog days are over by Florence and the Machine. Yes. High Priestess, Ace of Wands, um, Five of Cups. This is a situation where it's like I'm hearing a like happy distraction. Not that this is, this is a person or a situation that's gonna that's a distraction, but it kind of is. This is like a new beginning that's gonna get you so excited um, about life or about your creative adventure, about your creative endeavors, about your romantic life to where whatever you've been, five of cups is here, whatever you've been upset about, whatever you've been grieving and holding on to, it's all being wiped clean because you're excited, you're confident, there's a new beginning here. Ace of Wands is exciting energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very masculine. With the Empress here, this is about you receiving what you deserve, what you've been fighting for, five of wands, uh, Knight of Wands. But here's the kicker. Oh my God, here's the kicker. You never had to fight to begin with, Spirit said. That's that, that's, that is like the homework, the big, the bigger picture lesson here for this group is you're like, I've been pushing, I've been working so hard for this goal, for this thing, da, 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 da. And as soon as you literally 10 of Wands, you're like, no, just, I'm just going to drop it. Like if it's meant to be, it'll be. And then boom, as soon as you drop the worry, the stress, the overworking, the I have to, have to, have to, should to, should, should, should. Let it be, let it be. Beatles. Also, the song's coming in right now for y'all. What's this Ace of Cups coming in for Aries, please? New cup of love. I'm seeing the fish jump out of water, fish out of water. <laughs> Something new for sure, right? King of Wands, you're masculine for a lot of you, a masculine counterpart. Um, Page of Pentacles is a new offer. Two of Wands to step up to a new place, new situation, new realm. Eight of Pentacles is going to, both parties want to work on this. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Wow, this is so healthy and beautiful for a lot of you. Like, and in regards to like friendships and romance, this is someone who wants to come into your life and have a health, healthy balance of like, I appreciate your independence, but I also want to partner with you at the same time. This is very healthy. Like, someone who knows how to like be alone, work on their own, go out with their friends, connect with their family, but also like want to be in a committed friendship, committed relationship, committed you know, whatever here. Beautiful. What's the investment about? Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Double Nines, Queen of Pentacles. This is something that you've been worried about. But it looks like with the Queen of Pentacles on that, it can it can definitely progress and grow and so go somewhere. Is it going to take work like everything else? New friends take work. New romances take work. Just as much work you put into your job, your family, your home, your routine, your lifestyle, whatever. Connections also take work. Take Connections take work as well. On your Queen of Wands, you here at the end, Queen of Swords, definitely, definitely finding your voice, feeling more confident in this situation. Why are you the Queen of Wands here at the end? There's that Eight of Wands coming full circle. Uh, you've had a change of perspective. Uh, Hangman, Temperance, Queen of Swords, absolutely beautiful. Sagittarius popping in here at the end. There's that Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups, one to peek out. You found your voice. Whatever you've been like, this has been you, Queen of Swords, like only saying some of your truths, but holding things back. And you're like, nah, nah, I'm going to say it all now. I'm going to say it all now. Or someone wants to say it all now and find balance. This is temperance. This is divine timing. Um, you're slowly like getting your voice back. You're slowly getting your confidence back when you heal and take your time. I know Aries this is like almost opposite energy for you here at the end. You're, you're very go, go, go. I'll do, 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 do this. I'm happy to do whatever. You actually here start to gain your confidence by, by slowing down and delegating. 
I love this for you. Again, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is beautiful communication um, going back and forth again between these investors, these people that want to be in your life. Um, I feel like you're doing a very healthy thing by pulling back and not getting spirit is saying not getting overzealous, overexcited um, in a situation. A lot of you are learning to respond instead of react um, in situations. Very good. Very healthy. Um, happy early birthday again, Aries. Y'all know I love you so much. Let's do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. If y'all want to get into the new merch, I got some new uh, shirts out. There's the back. Um, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, stickers, lots of things. If y'all want to check it out, it's on my store here on my YouTube. Okay. Aries, the person who won the pick a card this time is Kimberly Gibson. Kimberly, you are my winner. All right. So Aries, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. And next time it could be you. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Catch you next time. Kimberly, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I need water. Kimberly, nine of wands, very similar to the Aries reading. It's like you're, you are right there at the tail end of a very difficult road, difficult situation. This is where you're like, you're like, I don't believe you. <laughs> I see the bandage. They're highlighting the bandage on your head. You're like, I have a headache. You're like, I don't see it. Nine of swords, ace of swords. There's a breakthrough coming in like any second now, any second, any second. You're about to go ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's what's been going on. Something's about to make sense to you that's really, really been bothering you. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for Kimberly. Yeah, yeah, Five of Swords, there's been some argument, conflict, even if not with other people within yourself, Seven of Pentacles, it's been taking a long time. I feel like there's been unresolved issues with people, right? You're like, I don't have closure with this. I don't know what's going on with that person. I don't know what's going on with this situation. Three of swords. Yeah, you've been very upset about an argument, a disagreement with someone or a group of people that like it hasn't, there's been no closure here. Chariot, okay, page of wands, chariot, younger fire, you, cancer, nine of wands, you tried. You're, you, I think you tried to reach out. This is you like, hey, well, I texted them. Hey, how you doing? I tried something. I tried to make them laugh. I don't know. It's like, I'm here like you tried. You tried something. You, you, I'm hearing you stuck your neck out there. Page of wands. It's just a little thing. And then chariot, you're like, nope, nope. You're like, I'm out of here. Paraffin. You're like, I'm on to bigger and better. I'm on to bigger and better things. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer or Taurus here soon. Nine of Pentacles, you know what you have. You have something great here. And if other people don't see it, well, guess what? Too fucking bad. That's that's this energy. You've been around a person or situation that I feel like you wanna have um, peace and resolution with, but if they're not here to see the beauty of who you are and wanna work things out, then they're not for you. I know that's a tough thing to say. This is like a, someone's rejection is actually your protection. Let's dig in on this. Five of Swords, what's been the issue? Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Empress. This is a lot of start and stop. A lot of start and stop, new friend, new romance, um, and then ten of swords, and then stops. There could be, um, you could be also be dealing with a mother figure and an empress, divine feminine, that you could be like in an argument with your mother, something like that as well. I feel like there's other, been other friends, other romances that have come in. I'm hearing as like tests, I'm hearing the word soothe, and it's just kind of triggered you deeper into something else. 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of mo uh, mother, I'm hearing e maternal, not eternal, maternal triggers happening with you with, in regards to other people, right? So there's some, there's some mommy wounds. I get that. Seven of pentacles. Yeah. You're like, I am over it. There's almost a little bit of an energy where you're like, am I, have I become my mother? Have I become my something? Okay. Yeah, devil, page of pentacles, shit. Okay, Capricorn energy, page of pentacles, kind of like what I just said. I feel like there's a little bit of part, a part of you here, um, and we all go through this. This is not me picking on you at all, but this is like we all go through this where we see devil energy. We see the shadow, the dark sides of ourselves that we've become that we didn't want to become, like from our, our parents or someone who raised us or a trait that we picked up from an old relationship, something like that, right? Um, and you're like, with the page of pentacles though, I hear you say, I know better than this. I know better than this behavior. I know better than to wait around for a loser. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, better than to stay here. What's this page of wands? You go, I tried. Yeah, you did. You sure did try. You've tried a lot. Two of cups, high priestess, more, more than anybody will ever know you've tried eight of swords and you're so frustrated when it doesn't work out yeah page of swords and death card and then it's over yeah there's been a lot of like fling energy here again maybe romantically or just with friends like hey i met that person they were cool but then like they ghosted me or you know what i mean it's just been very oddball so start and stop what did i do wrong and that's the whole point babe you didn't do a damn thing wrong You've been doing the right thing. You're 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 beautiful, amazing. I can I can feel your energy. You've just been in the wrong place, wrong building, wrong people, and that's the lesson. It's not that you don't have to talk to those people, be around them, but if you want to be seen, loved, appreciated, you got to be around the right people who are in the same energy as, uh, as you. Speaking of finding balance, chariot energy. Now that you you've addressed that shadow side within yourself, now you're getting moving forward chariot where are you going you don't see something hangman four of cups ten of pentacles you're like i don't yes you go i don't know where i'm going but i'm not going to be here it's like um process of elimination with you you're like i've tried this i've tried that nothing is happening in these situations or with these people clearly i don't belong here i don't know what's on the other side of this i don't really know where i'm going but i'm gonna get in the car anyways and i'm just gonna go yes 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 that is fucking amazing harriet uh i almost said harriet that might have a significant significance to you what is the hair fit for you excuse me Sun, the sun card. Parati. Do you speak Espanol or someone around you? I'm getting Espanol too. Um, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Oh my God. Hierophant, Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo here. King of Wands. Yeah, this is something King of Cups. This is a relationship that you didn't see coming. Yeah. This is a person, a relationship, a job, some kind of amazing, happy wish fulfillment that you didn't see coming. The only thing that you knew is that you were following your, your light, your soul, your creativity. Keep going, Kimberly, whatever you're doing, please keep going. Don't stay where you're at. Definitely keep going. And I know you're just like, Jacqueline, I'm so frustrated. I don't see it. You're going to at any moment, anytime. And it's gonna happen so soon for you, whatever this is. I'm so proud of you. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all like crazy. Happy early birthday, Aries. I'll see y'all in the love reading next time. Bye.